taking off right now will take you into Korea. And one of those aircraft is built by North American Aviation and put a second seat in it and made it the T-33, the first jet trainer that the, uh, that the Air Force ever used. So when I say F-80 shooting star or T-33 shooting star, it's basically the same airplane, just a little bit longer. And uh, as we set up for that, if you'll look to the right, you'll see him coming in once again. The owner and operator of the T-33 with the straight wings is Fowler Carey down in South Carolina. He's in the back seat of his aircraft and flying in the front seat is former Air Force pilot Jerry Kirby, Lieutenant Colonel Jerry Kirby, U.S. Air Force retired, flying that beautifully thunder, beautifully painted Thunderbird paint scheme, the T-33. And in the swept wing F-86 Sabre jet, with that very, very special paint job on it, is Dale Snort Snodgrass, United States Navy Captain, retired a test pilot. He grew up on Long Island, New York. He was a biology major at the University of Minnesota and also an all-American member of the swim team there. And for a while, was, when he was in the Navy, among all his commendations, he was also the man in charge of all the F-14 Tomcats that the Navy had. If you look to your left, let's take a look. As we take you into the days of the jet era, as it just was getting started, the F-80 shooting star, the single seat version of the T-33 we see here today. In close formation. The T-33 was powered by an Allison J-33 turbojet engine, a straight jet. We will see those aircraft with the afterburner of fifth stage of the jet engine, and that's by pouring raw jet fuel right into the exhaust, you actually end up with a fifth stage to get the airplane going. and the F-80 shooting star T-33 t 1960s. But from the left, take a look at the F-86 Sabre jet as Dale Snodgrass pulls up. Shield your eyes from the sun, man. That's what I'm doing. Up over the top, climbs to almost 5,000 feet above the ground. And up he goes, and over the top, rolls the airplane upright from, from inverted to inverted, and pulls back on the stick, and does the loop to the roll on top called the avalanche. As Dale comes down the backside, you can look at the paint job on it, and you can see that it says the word sideways. Now, former Navy captain retired. Now, 
Up he goes. Rolls the airplane over on its back. Oh, what a pretty sight that is. Powered by a 6,900-pound General Electric J27 jet engine. This is the airplane that once it got into service during the pull-up, Dale. There you go, buddy. He loves going over the trees. <laughs> He's actually probably on what they call a real mosquito mission, keeping the mosquitoes down with that air show smoke. With a super slow roll, Jerry Kirby comes back through. Up and to the left, take a look at Dale there. The swept wing fighter, that F-86, when it got into Korea and was flown by from 1950 to 1953, giving the Americans a nearly 10 to 1 aerial victory ratio. There's the four-point hesitation roll by Captain Dale Schwarzenegger from the Sky, Sky Blazers F-86 Samurai. The F-86 was mildly supersonic in a dive, in a shallow dive that could actually bring the saber that the uh, sound barrier was broken in level flight by a jet. Low and to the right, here comes Jerry Kirby with Fowler Carey, the owner, sitting in the back seat. Up comes the nose. Called the double aileron roll. Let's see if we go for three. Yep, he goes for the triple. And now exits off to the right. Now, let's see if we see Dale Snodgrass drag a wing right next to the ground. I think that's, I believe that's what we're going to see here. He's coming out over your shoulder from the right. Very low. He's got his air show smoke on. Some of you. Yeah, watch this. What? Hard bag. Look at that. Look how low he is. Oh, yeah. I hope you got some pictures of that. That kind of high degree of bank turn that he just did. Yeah, it's tough. T-33 is just the trainer version, two-seat version of that same Lockheed F-80 shooting star. Designed by Kelly Johnson and the guys at the Skunk Works. Project Development Works at Lockheed. He's out. Dale Snodgrass in again from the left. Some of you may have seen on the internet, if you're an actual air show geek like I am, a picture taken from the deck of an aircraft carrier with an F-14 Tomcat with part of its wing obscured, very low, right next to the carrier deck and about 90 degrees of bank. Well, the caption said, that the pilot was grounded for 30 days for making a pass like that. Well, that was inaccurate because the pilot who made that pass in that picture, which you can see on the internet, was next to the USS aircraft carrier Stennis and during a, an offshore air show for families and dependents of the sailors who were serving in the carrier fleet. And Dale Snodgrass was flying that airplane as part of an air show. Baron Barenkoven is piloting that aircraft. So it'll be coming by. But Chris, we have a guest up here. Who do we have with us here today? We have the 2007 Miss Maryland USA, the Shea Holland. And Shea's first air show. What do you think of the show so far? And so. What is it that you came out here to see? You came out to see Thunberg, or your Army man, Navy man, Air Force man, Marine man? Well, I actually work from the gallery in the contract, and I work in a contract with the project. So I'm very familiar with the environment, and I want to see the show, and everyone's keeping out and trying to find a laugh, and I'm going to have to have a Alright, so one last question for you. Which was harder? Being too complicated or being a redskin cheerleader? I would probably have all right, so Michelle, have a great time. It's a pleasure meeting you. Enjoy our show and come on back. Thanks, Michelle, very much. You're supposed to say right now that your favorite airplane here is the F-15 Eagle. Say it again, real quick. My favorite airplane is the F-15 Eagle. And Baron will see you after his flight. <laughs> Thanks for coming up. Nice to meet you, Mitchell. With a name like Holloman, you'd think your favorite airplane would be the F-117 Nighthawk. 
but that's where they're safe. Wave at Baron, there he is. Well, we've got a couple of minutes. We've got a few people I'm sure we have to catch up on. Uh, coming up in a minute, we're going to see that as we see the event. And the side cut is going to be the party. This is the covering of uh, Dale Snodgrass and uh, Gary Kirby. And while we're here, he's here in the back seat of the Eagle 33. So in the meantime, uh, uh, I think we got some people we want to thank. Oh yeah, but first we have to give the warning of uh, there's no smoking on the concrete area of Andrews Air Force Base. So if you're smoking, please extinguish your cigarettes right now and um, deposit them in the proper receptacle. Also, we'd like to remind you that uh, M&T Bank has got ATM machines around the flight line area so that if you run out of cash, you can always get more fluids to stay hydrated because it's going to be in the 70s today and it's going to get hot on this concrete.